Salting the roads has always been known as the go to for preventing ice from forming after a snowstorm on the roads, but now researchers are raising the alarm on its negative impacts on our drinking water. NBC 5's Benny Nezai tells us about the changes that northern New York officials would like to see. We have documented that road salt has had impacts on lakes, it's had impacts on streams. Paul Smith's college president, Dr. Dan Kelting, has been researching the impact of road salt in the Adirondacks for over the last 20 years. Through his studies, he's found that salting roads during the winter months for decades has led to runoff that impacts local waterways and drinking water. He says it could be dangerous for many homeowners in the Adirondacks. We have a lot of old homes with the lead, and then now we have documented uh, corrosive water moving through those distribution systems at home in homes, contributing uh, possibly to you know, very serious concerns for homeowners related for lead poisoning. In order to combat this concern, officials are urging local transportation departments to use better tools that reduces the amount of road salt. At Lake George Association's ninth annual Adirondack Champlain Regional Salt Summit Tuesday in Lake Placid. Getting better equipment, that being brining, that being the, being the live edge plows, and when you measure it, you can actually track what you're putting down. Go back and take a look at that and see how you can improve that moving forward and implement practices that are better and then seeing the actual results on the road. And if these resources are put into place, Dr. Kelting believes there could be a better and safer future for all. The future could be really positive. We can solve this problem if we're willing to do the work and invest in what needs to be done. In Lake Placid, Benny Nazai, NBC5 News.